I close enough? Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> my, <laughs> um, my name is Abby Pearson, and I am a sophomore at Scott Catholic. I like your mark! <laughs> and this poem doesn't have a title. The summer brought late night phone calls and heart emojis. Black licorice nights and sore stomachs spilled ice cream on a cold stone fireplace. I fell in love with his authenticity. Wrapped in bed sheets, he tells me about his mother, how she fought her brain when her entire body was a razor blade, his voice quavering baritone over the speakers of a Google Hangouts call, and when the tale of serotonin deficiency is too much, I ask his favorite color. He kisses me in the stairwell after the second performance of Susical the Musical, still wearing his fuzzy skunk costume, and as we peer out the glass staircase into the empty parking lot, I can imagine an eternity tinted with the shades of royal blue. It was the summer I met the winter, the snowfall with the love that arrived so quietly, I forgot it wasn't there in the first place, and with the winter there came the darkness. The boy who held my sweaty hand in a heat warning, who begged to pay for every date when I was too shy to let him. I find in his eyes the resiliency he got from his mother, but I cannot find the light. And maybe, I wonder, if they are just too similar. When days become weeks of no-shows and missed calls and I'm sorry's, he staples excuses into our locked palms, murmurs that he doesn't know what's wrong with him, that he'll do better, that he thinks it's something we can get past. I nod like I always do, let his thumb rub circles down my spine, but I do not forget that with every I love you, I receive and I know. The night I leave him is the night I attempt to peel all the frostbitten skin from my body for the first time in months. He promises he will think of me. He will miss me. He will come back when he's healthy. I let the sweet nothings infiltrate my brain until there is nothing left of us. And when I hang up, I can imagine his shattered frame bawling in the space of his tiny bed. I can imagine he gives me that. And somehow I have lost him without knowing if I really had him in the first place. I spend my nights trying to catch my breath, running my fingers over the divots of I still want you is around a track of empty promises. Does he pass our glass stairwell and remember the way I held him like it was all I knew how to do? Does he clutch the blue beanie I gave him when he sleeps because it's the only piece of me still keeping him warm? Does he reread our old text messages and think about how he lost the only girl who would have crossed battlefields for him? Does he miss me? I remember one night he asked me, laughing, if I wanted him to break my heart so I could write a poem about it. Baby, the answer is no. It's always been no.